So let's get in right to it. Like I said, to you, these are two friends that we kind of covered before, but for those that don't know, tell me real quick about your uh, two signature models here. Uh, yeah, so these are the um, basically the, uh, not the floor models of my signatures, it's like the prestige version. Okay. So this is like essentially what would be the YY, uh, well but actually they're both technically YY10s because they have the Strat style pickup configuration. Okay. Um, but yeah. Uh, and, and the what, other one, the YY20, sorry to cut you off, is like the T style with like the two pickups. Exactly, okay. yeah. Um, just I wanted to release something with like a tele style for people who like telecasters. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's essentially the biggest difference. And why do you prefer to have the Strat with you on, or the Strat style, or the three pickups, the five way switch uh, versus the tele on tour with you? Um, for me, it's like a tonal thing. I okay. feel like a lot of the way that I like to push the tubes in my amp. Um, I, I do like how the Strat sounds with that. Um, I feel like I have some solo stuff that I'm writing that's a little more like intimate and like dynamic and I feel like that's when I really would like to have my telly out. Yeah. But I started on a Telecaster, so. Now I know the, the recipe's similar, uh, Alder Body, Maple Neck, Rosewood Fretboard. Yes. I'm wondering since our last time we spoke, I think it was 2017 or 2018, is obviously these models haven't changed anything, but are you thinking or working with Ibanez to like chase something else is is there could there be like a humbucker model coming out or different pickups like what in the time that you spent with this instrument and wrote you know written music and released stuff what are some things that you've maybe been wood shopping in terms of changing or updating or releasing a new model or maybe you've not done any of that i don't know um thinking like a headstock t-shirt cannon <laughs> <laughs> you know That'd be sweet. distribution yeah that's all about marketing at that point. Yeah, maybe like um, like a like an air horn. Come on now, that's silly. <laughs> that's just too silly. I'm just kidding. Um, I I think I'm going to do a prestige version because I think the reason why I didn't want to just completely, you know, go really expensive with this prestige stuff is I was considering that a lot of my demographic and a lot of people who want to pick up like my whole thing is I just want to get people to pick up guitar. Yeah. So if I just go out of the gate and release something that's like really expensive, yeah. I feel like it's gonna price out a lot of students, a lot of people who don't like who can't really afford like a really nice instrument. I started on a ninety dollar SX Tele, so for me I'm just like, you know, I'll play anything. Yeah. Um they're not bad guitars per se, but I just wanted to like have something a little more affordable that's still like a really quality instrument. But now I'm just gonna go for like the rock dads yeah you know like <laughs> well that's a really admiral starting point because normally people do that in a reverse order well they'll give you the six thousand mm -hmm. dollar option and then they'll give you a, a five hundred dollar option as an afterthought you really came out the gate with something that it's about i think a thousand dollars between the models but it's still really i mean i know that's a lot of money but you're getting like seymour duncan pickups it's yeah. a really good appointment it's a godo bridge like i love the floor model of my guitar like for me i i still play it i record with it a lot and um the neck feels slightly different like this one's like one of those it's a i think it was a custom shop neck okay but um the neck on my actual signature is a little different but i still love that neck and to me it feels really comfortable um and yeah i just like i feel like it's okay to start with something that's more like affordable and then you know now for people who have been playing a while i'm like i might as well go for something that's super high quality yeah um, i'm not sure what pickups i'm going to use yet i'm um there's whispers of p90s maybe oh wow so yeah they're they're kind of fun mini humbuckers maybe i'm Ooh. not sure no, so far i've just done single coil world and something different would be kind of cool